What is up guys and in this video I'll be showing you a super secret hack on how you make thumbnails within Adobe Premiere, a video editing software, and you don't need Photoshop. This is a super secret of mine. Even not a lot of people know that about this, so shh, don't tell anybody. But I'm going to show you guys exactly how I make thumbnails. Stay tuned. So especially if you want to make YouTube content, I would say titles and thumbnails are just as important as the actual video content itself. Think of it as essentially being the meat of a sandwich. And before you can even bite into the sandwich, you want something to hold on to. And that is creating a YouTube thumbnail or just any type of graphic. And I've been doing this since the very beginning. And although my Photoshop skills aren't the best, of the best, I would say I know entry level, but one of my workarounds and hacks of how, since you're already video editing and making YouTube videos on Adobe Premiere, there's a super secret way that not a lot of people talk about of how I've actually made a YouTube thumbnail within Adobe Premiere by simply just having a still frame exporting as a PNG and there's so many different ways that you can test and try and it's much more of a faster workflow than actually going into Photoshop, masking it, dealing with all the layers while you're already editing. So for me, it saves me time and I'm gonna show you exactly, I'm gonna jump into here and show you how I make all my YouTube thumbnails for this channel are actually made on Adobe Premiere. So let's get into it. Okay guys, now this is gonna be super meta and I'm gonna be making a thumbnail out of the video that you, you guys just saw. So I double click on the video file before I have any timeline or anything. I just double click right here, as you can see, and I pick a frame that is most suitable for YouTube or something that catches people's attention. I kind of just scrub through, try to frame a funny frame or something that's like eye catching, maybe like me pointing right here. And then I click this button right here, which is Control shift e export frame. I pick where it goes. I put it to my desktop, label it whatever, thumbnail one. And you'll check here that clicks import into project. You click OK. And now if I double click here, what you did was you just made a freeze frame right here out of your video. So now I, you can drag that video file. Make sure you have a timeline first, delete this video. Then I drag this into my timeline. And now this is where the creativity comes into play. So there's a couple of ways around this. What I like to do is I like to do, let's say you want a color or gradient ramp, control T, right? It brings up your legacy title editor. I click background. Let's do a linear gradient. Let's do yellow. So I'm gonna go uh, zero. Don't ask me, but I have memorized yellow because it is the easiest to remember is triple F, triple zero. I do a linear grain like this. You can also change the way that the angle of the color, you can change how the color is going to spread. And I'm like, okay, this is a good enough title. So I have that as a title. So I drag this on top, right? And this is where the magic happens. I like to punch in the effect called linear wipe underneath transitions, but I don't actually use it as a transition. I do it as a freeze frame, so it's like essentially a gradient wipe. See? Look what I did here. So let's say I leave it at 50%. I want to change the angle around, so it's negative 90. You can control the wipe, and that's how I get those diagonal thumbnails that you'll see on people's channel or my own channel. And the cool thing about this is you can have this little blur here so it doesn't look so rough like that. And then I go into my bottom layer. Now it's a like Photoshop, right? You have your bottom most layer and your top most layer, right? And my bottom is the image. So I'm just gonna move me here like that. Maybe I'm not gonna make this the thumbnail, but this is just for demonstration purposes, right? I can go into color. I can color correct this, make myself a little brighter, contrastier, up the vibrance, saturation. And then I wanna click my text tool, you go into your graphics panel, give it a minute to load, and here. So this is going to how to make a thumbnail, right, with Premiere Pro or something. I don't want to have too much letters or words, so I'm just going to do how to make a thumbnail, right? You pick your font, Bebas New, my favorite font, who doesn't not like Bebas New? And now you can control the kerning of it, the spacing. You can also add like a drop shadow. Now you see the text layers on the very top, right? Next, what I'm gonna do is 
hey, I, I want to add maybe a little background to it. Easy. You know, you click this background tool now with the newer Adobe Premiere version. You can make it transparent. You can make it big as you want. You can change the color of this to make it stand out more. Move this here. And look, I just made a YouTube thumbnail within Adobe Premiere. And you can add drop shadows to this with the effect. Drop shadow. Bring this into my layer here. You can mess around with the, the shadow, the radius of it. And uh, this is a quick and really simple way of how you make a thumbnail. Like I said, I can, same thing, export it. So make sure it's the camera button right here. If you don't have it, you can also plus and see which buttons you have or don't have. But it's like thumbnail two. Make sure important to project is checked. So it'll drag it right into your timeline. And look, I just made a YouTube thumbnail. And in terms of the, the for format, I usually have it at JPEG or PNG, and that is how you do it. It's really that simple, guys. Not really rocket science, and that is how you've been, I've been making YouTube thumbnails within Adobe Premiere, a video editing software for a long time. And it really saves a lot of time, and you can get really fancy with how you can make thumbnails, and you would be surprised of what I can actually do with these YouTube thumbnails. So that's how I do it, and now you know the super secret as well within Adobe Premiere. And if you watch this far, give me that thumbs up button, smash it so you can see and watch more of my tutorials. So now, guys, you know exactly how the super secret, the super of how I actually make YouTube thumbnails all within Adobe Premiere or any video editing software. All you need to do is layer it, export it as a PNG, and hey, now you are a ghetto rigged Photoshop graphic designer super connoisseur without having to use Canva and use Adobe Premiere. And it's a way of how I've made graphics for quite some time, especially if you plan on making social media content. This is a super secret hack that not a lot of video content creators will tell you about or let alone know about. It's just the other day while I was talking to a colleague and he's like, wait, you make thumbnails on Adobe Premiere? I'm like, yep, I've been doing it for quite some time now. And it works for me and it's what I'm used to, so it saves me time. And make sure you grab my free camera guide. You want to know what kind of gear and equipment I, I'm using. All that is linked in the description. Check all that out. You want to check more of my video editing uh, tutorials. Link in the description as well. And my name is Peter and you're watching Broke Vision Collective where we all start with nothing. But you can always create something. Cheers, guys.